Hey, I'm Brady. And I'm Caleb. And we are building a bear hog. Scratch building. Never done it before. Uh, first timers. We're in our 20s. We're tired of coming home from work, sitting on the couch, playing Xbox, surfing the web, Facebook. So we decided, let's do something meaningful. Let's build a plane. So we're building a plane. And we're down here in my basement. This is where it all happens. You don't need a big space. Space is a good thing, though, we've learned. Uh, especially for cutting once you get the raw metal. But anyhow, here's what we've done so far. We are hot and heavy into rib making, uh, doing everything from scratch, which uh, we scratch our head a lot. I think that's what scratch building means. Um, but thankfully, we uh, stream live video every Tuesday, Tuesday night, 6.30 Central Time. Yeah, I don't uh, normally wear this, but this is a Tuesday night only thing. We've got a little webcam on here. We've got it connected to a laptop, and we've got people from South Africa, Canada, over Jamaica, the US, everywhere. Um, there's people that have done it before that tune in, they see what we're doing, and they say, hey, stop, that's incredibly dangerous, don't do it that way. Or, um, you know, there's people that have never built before that just want to see what it's about. Experienced builders chime in and give us tips like, you know, hey, instead of trying to flange over, it kills your forearms, you know, put it down and flange down. So people give us tips, it benefits us, it benefits the other viewers uh, that are watching. If you're a first time builder, which we are, uh, what's actually interesting about this is we've been doing this almost a year now and we have only used basic shop tools. So we almost have all of our ribs made and we're only using hammers and screwdrivers and drill press, router, files, bench grinder, stuff that there's a good chance you may already have. And we, uh, the nice thing about the partnership is it keeps us both motivated, which was one of the reasons. Being a first time builder, I probably wouldn't take on a project like this by myself. But having the accountability when we get stumped, you know, like on this piece, when we're flanging the lightning holes, it's getting a ripple. And so we're like, oh man, you know, how, how do we get this out? And so both of us are down here to encourage each other to get through this. Um, it doesn't become a overwhelmingly, you know, an overwhelming roadblock. Plus we're both poor. So, you know, being able to split the cost 50-50 is a huge, that makes a huge difference right there. Um, that's our big motivation for scratch building as well. We wanted the project, but you know, as much as we'd love to go out and get a, a quick build kit or something like that, we just can't afford it. So um, we're building kind of at a slow pace, but just pitching in a little bit each time. and Probably a little too slow. We, uh, yeah, we realized that this last week at uh, AirVenture. Yeah, we've most of, almost everybody we talked to was like, oh, you're building one night a week? Well, you'll finish it in 20 years. And it's like, ah, oh. and, and they're right. You know, we've, uh, we put in a solid three hours every Tuesday night, the two of us, so we make good headway. Uh, but it's rare that we work on it another night during the week. And I, I think part of that was having never built before, you go around and you hear guys say, you know, this plane cost me this many thousands of dollars, this many hours, and this many marriages. And, you know, we didn't want it to become an over-enveloping thing, so we, we were extra careful when we started out that we didn't overcommit. we weren't stressing ourselves out, we weren't stressing our wives out. Our wives don't hate the project. They're both really excited about it. Right. But now that we've done it for about a year, we realize, hey, this is definitely manageable, we should kick it up a notch. And what I'm doing, it's actually hard for me with the family to come over here. When they say have a shop like in your basement, in your house, near your house, you work on a lot more, they're right. Uh, because it's hard for me to leave family to come over here and work. However, what I've done since AirVenture is every week I take small parts home with me that I can sit around and, uh, and just file. In fact, I was sitting on the couch with my wife We've done it twice this week, actually. And uh, while watching a TV show, we sit there, we both get our files, and we're, and so now both of us are working on it together. We're working on it more than one night a week. So now we're gonna finish it in 10 years. And another thing is uh, during AirVenture, we took the opportunity to go to a fabric covering class, and we brought our wives with. And that was something that was really cool. They got to do it hands-on, and you know, afterwards they were like, wow, I can do this, this is fun. Let me know when I can help, so. And now your wife, she's really interested in helping out all the time. So. I think she just wants to make sure it gets done. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take the help. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's 170 wing ribs. Uh, we're getting close to finishing them after working on them for almost a year. So it's gonna get to the point where we're gonna start maybe doing some priming, start doing some drilling, and maybe pressing some rivets. Start squeezing some rivets. Start working on the spars some, but uh, but yeah, we're, we're working on it more than one night a week now, which which is important. Yeah. But uh, not to the point where we're killing our marriages over it. Right. So, live and learn. It's experimental. And we found out tonight even, you, you got to get creative sometimes. You get stumped and you're like, oh, how can I flange this? And, uh, you know, 
thankfully the online viewers, which if you're not watching, come watch Tuesday night, help us out. So Yeah, it's uh, 6.30 to 9 central time. Every Tuesday we're down here and uh, you know, if, if you haven't built before and you're just curious what it's like, um, you know, this is an uncensored, you know, nitty gritty, you don't get the highlights, this is what it actually looks like to build. So yeah. come check it out. So if you think of us and it's a Tuesday night, check in dreambuildfly.com.